Hey guys, how are you doing today? I have a disappointing news video regarding the Royal Mint's Queen's Beast proof coins. I did a video about this coin uh, maybe last week or so, a couple of weeks ago, uh, saying that they're coming out, uh, they're available for sale. And what you're looking at here is the package they use to send me the coins. Now I ordered uh, probably about six coins, yeah, six coins, and they stuffed them in here. And this is pretty, it's a pretty big bag and uh, very flimsy, very loose, very ba uh, baggy. And they threw those six coins in there and it jostled around. Uh, I'll show you the next picture. It looks like that. It's just a bubble mailer. There's no stuffing of anything. And then look what happened to the boxes. Scuffed up here, scuffed up here, you know, scuff in the front. Even on the size, it's like a trail of scuff there, more scuffs there. So now we're going to get to the coins. I start to see milk spots right next to the end, and there's one here. And then I'm going to show you in circles, you see more uh, flaws on the coin. Disappointing, right? But I'm thinking, all right, maybe just one is off, and not every one of them is off, but... I open the next coin. His uh, on the on the queenie side. Look at that. Yeah, I don't. I don't even have to put a red mark on this one because you can visibly see that there's a white uh, scratch or something on there, right? Let's go to the next one. And here's one where you see these lines, the streaks there. Um, not looking good. Here's another angle of it. There's streaks there. And then on the other side, look at that, another gash mark. And here there's a, a dot right in the uh, middle between the L and the I and lion. That dot uh, is a milk spot there, right? And here's the arrow indicating the uh, milk spot. Here's another one here in a different angle. Milk spot there. There's one up here. There's the milk spot. Right? Same one there. Now you see a bunch of them here. Boom. You see milk spot. I don't know if this is a milk spot or a scratch or something, but I don't know what that is supposed to be. Just constant. You see that one there? And here's one that looks decent, you know. Um, there was just one coin that looked decent, but, um, all of them should be like this, right? And even on this one, um, I saw small little hairline scratches here and there. So, uh, I'm in the, the process of talking to Royal Mint. I sent them an email about the packaging only. I didn't mention anything about the quality of the coins. So, uh they have to go back um and we'll see what they can do but just wanted to warn you guys like when you buy proof coins uh, make sure you check with your loop because you know it's not always visible but with with this batch it was fairly visible with the naked eye I'm like hey what's this what's this and like i constantly kept checking each coin to make sure that you know they're all unique um, errors and that there's, you know, definitely a production flaw. I mean, you'll even see in this picture, there's a little thing here, a little thing there, a little thing there. But I think those are dust particles. But you, you got to check them to make sure that your coins are in tip-top condition here. So that's the disappointing news. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, just leave them down below and I'll get back to you guys. All right, I'll speak to you guys later.